This video will show you how to build an anemometer, a device used to measure wind speed, out of simple household materials. To build your anemometer, you will need two straws, a pencil with an eraser on the end, five three ounce paper cups, a push pin, and a hole puncher. Start by using the hole puncher to punch four holes opposite each other just below the rim of one of the cups. Then, push the two straws through these holes. Use the hole puncher to punch two adjacent holes in each remaining cup. Thread each of these cups onto the ends of the straws through the two holes. Make sure the cups all face the same direction around a circle, meaning they all face clockwise or all counterclockwise. If one of the cups is backwards, then your anemometer will not work. Next, use the tip of a sharpened pencil to poke a hole in the bottom of the center cup. Press the pencil through the hole eraser first and wiggle it slightly to widen the hole so the pencil can rotate easily. Lightly press a push pin through the two straws and into the eraser. Do not push it in too far or this will create too much friction and your anemometer will not rotate. Stand your anemometer up on end and try giving it a spin. If it doesn't spin, try loosening the push pin to reduce the amount of friction. Now, hold the anemometer up in front of a fan or take it outside on a windy day. Observe how fast it spins when the wind speed changes. To see written instructions for a science project and classroom lesson plan you can do using the anemometer, visit the links at the end of this video. To see thousands of other science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.